Dear readers of the European Sting, there's one thing that drew my attention last week. The pathetic way the European Commission handled the food scandal of the doctored horse meat that was being served to Europeans as beef. Food scandals in Europe are like rain in London. It happens all the time and in the least expected moments. We Europeans are proud to have a terrible food control system that can turn cows mad, can put in your salad cucumbers with E. coli sauce, and give you chicken wings from Belgian chickens that were fed with what you flushed down the toilet every morning. This time, people, they gave us, horse. I was sipping my fine Belgian beer at a pub in Brussels last week when I overheard someone from a group of friends saying, I don't get it why everyone seems so irritated with this horse meat thing anyway. I had an excellent expensive horse steak last time and it was worth every penny. Horse steaks rock. I wanted to stand up and explain to the guy that human race is much more threatened by free stupidity than by the meteor that hit Russia last week, but luckily my good manners prevailed and I continued drinking my beer. Finally I could not help it. I looked back to the guy, asking him, Commissioner is that you? It was last Wednesday that the Commissioner of Health and Consumer Policy, Tony O'Borg, announced proudly that the unlabeled presence of horse meat in our burgers is not a health crisis. And then, he continued saying that in Europe horse is allowed to be used for meat consumption. Oh my god. It seems it was not only the guy from the pub that had too many beers after all. It seems that the commissioner of health also confused the high quality horse meat that you can find in fine restaurants with the dangerous, uncontrolled, low quality and sick horse meat that some European merchants mixed with beef and pork to make their production cheaper. Fortunately, time in Berlaymont runs faster than a sick horse, and in less than a day, the commissioner came out to perform a pirouette and even arrive, the ballet dancer, would envy. Admitting the danger that the substance phenylbrutazine poses to human health, he called on an investigation of the meat horse issue. Europeans, there's no need to worry anymore. Problem solved. Enjoy your burgers. The European Commission will run an investigation on the topic. Actually, it makes you want to cry when you think about the significance of this new health crisis at the old continent and how the European Commission will conduct a substantially low-budget investigation, with testings of one sample every 50 tons of horse meat. Countries will be requested to do minimum five tests. I mean, Peter Sellers as Inspector Clouseau was conducting better investigations than this. Seriously? It is like looking for an idol in a haystack. It is terribly poor the way the Commission controls quality and food production and distribution in Europe. So many food scandals and we are still being served horse stool. If at the end of the day we are what we eat, expect to start kneeing any time now. Until next week, join the hive.